Hello, I'm Grant. I'm trying to live forever. Lost over 300 pounds using a gastric bypass, and I'm hoping to give you the tools and resources to have the same kind of result for you yourself in the future. Today, we're going to talk about how long does it last? How long does it last? I see this question come up a lot on the forums and online. And this lasts forever. Once you have this done, there isn't any revising it. Now you can get a sleeve revised into Rao Y, but you can't get your old stomach back. They remove it and discard it. There is no reconstruction to get it back. This is this is for life, boys and girls. Okay. So yes, it's something you have to deal with for the rest of your life. I'm sorry I'm saying it over and over again, but it is it's just something I'm hoping that locks in because it's important for you to know that you're making a lifelong decision by having this surgery. But it's not a bad thing. The old me was a bad thing at almost 600 pounds. It's just a matter of getting used to the new you and living with it long term. And that's just what you have to do. You just have to learn the new you. See, like the old me at almost 600 pounds was breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, second dinner, snack, snack, snack. Okay, that was a daily for me. And those were full meals. And those were at least a thousand, a thousand calories a pop of just eating just could not stop myself no control whatsoever and that's how I got to be 600 pounds while still working construction being a steel worker and being a welder I was almost 600 pounds now the new me after 18 years even after 18 years you'll never be able to go back to the volume that you used to before that's the whole point of this but the new me is my shake in the morning my breakfast for lunch around one o'clock every day a small snack which usually is either two boiled eggs or two ounces of cheese dinner around seven and then a small something somewhere around nine because i usually go to bed between 10 and 11 and i can't eat that close to bed because i have a chance of aspirating while I'm sleeping if I eat too close to bedtime and trying to, and getting my my liquid numbers in in between that's my normal day to day that's the new normal for me and that's all this is about it guys it's just getting used to the new normal for you and it can be done and it can be done long term the problem is is when you try to get back to your old habits your brain is a funny little mechanism. You are emotionally happy at a large weight, being able to blow and go and eat however you wanted. But that doesn't make you live long, and that doesn't make you healthy, and that makes you have all the problems with being heavily overweight that that entails. I wanted to live. I have a lot of things to live for. I'm happy. I've got grandkids. I've got things to look forward to things that I want to do, places I want to see. I want to live and be healthy enough to be able to get there. And this is one of those things that helped me. It's a tool. And it is forever. Because once you do it, there isn't any going back. You're locked in. Okay? But that can be a good thing. So if you're still here, give me one of those. Give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you know when a new video is coming. Y'all have a great day. Because a great day today could mean an even better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.